And we're going to get to that in just a few seconds because we have the woman of the hour. <laughs> she found a way um, through a, a few helping hands. We got to show this first while we welcome her on here. Uh, I'll give you a little taste of Lindsay Horan in NWSL play and what she can do here. So without further ado, we're going to bring her on in. She's not only an NWSL MVP, she's a World Cup champion. And she's a pal. Lindsay Horan, how are you doing? <laughs> Hi. I'm good. How are Hello. you? Good. And thank you so much for joining. We are excited to have you on the show. I'm bringing Lori and Jeff back in here. Uh, the bubble, everyone's using the internet right now. What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took me a few too many, too many minutes to get on here, but I made it. Um, yeah, Embassy Suites uh, Wi-Fi is taken over by all these teams, so. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a perfect segue. We want to know, what, what's it like in there? Bring us in the bubble. Tell us about life in this new world that you guys are living in? <laughs> um, um, well, it's not too exciting, so don't get, um, don't get excited over there. Um, it's, it's honestly not bad. I, again, like I always say this, Portland has done a really good job at keeping us entertained with the games and our like fun little playroom that we have with ping pong tables and basketball hoops and whatnot. So, um, so Portland's the best they've, They've kept us enter entertained. I again, I have my tech ball table here. That's what I'm entertained with, and yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it. We got. I mean, Jordan, that was the uh, one of the big questions that we had was ping pong and tech ball of who who the big competitor is for you. Uh, <laughs> well, unfortunately, I haven't played ping pong at all. Um, I usually absolutely destroy Brit, but I've been on the tech ball table playing our athletic trainer, um, Pierre. Um, and I, <laughs> I have to admit, I've lost a fair share of those games. <laughs> so not, not keeping my confidence high, but it's fun. Well, I, Linz, hi, thanks for joining us, first of all. Um, in terms of the bubble, that's good to hear, because I think there's a different feeling for every team, right? Some are like real, really struggling in the bubble, and then other teams sound like Portland is really enjoying it, which is <laughs> <Just> great. <laughs> yeah. Um, talk about on field, though, how are, how are things, how is the team meshing, do you feel, and um, what's tomorrow looking like for you all? Yeah, I think it's it's been so interesting. You know, it, you go into a tournament setting and and not a whole lot of prep time before this tournament. So um, I feel like for us, each game has gotten better and better, um, and we've progressed through the tournament. And obviously, we haven't gotten the results we wanted, um, but we keep we keep striving for more. And I think now we're we're going into the quarterfinals, and I. I think our team is in the best place that we possibly can be. I think we played um, amazing against Seattle. You know, it was, it was a huge rivalry game, and and Mangas and I were both both out, and every every player on the team, every player in the field stepped up and 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 really showed how you know the Thorn style is meant to be played. And again, you know, we didn't finish some of our chances, and we hope tomorrow is the time that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think everybody's anticipating this game tomorrow, but for you guys, this is just such a unique circumstance, right, Lindsay? You guys uh, are used to spending a lot of time together, but this is uh, a lot of time and some challenging, time. <laughs> some challenging games, right? You have the heat, you have the altitude. But there has to be some, some real positives that you learn about who your squad is through those, that adversity. What have you learned about this team? Um, well, yeah, firstly, I think we kind of have to commend the whole NWSL right now and every single team and and making it through the, the first four games with the altitude, with the heat, um, with games in such a short period of time. I think that was huge. And, and it says a lot about our groups group and, and the teams here. And um, it's tough. Um, 
and and looking at my team, I think the the main thing that we did well was just our attitude going into each game and, and going into this tournament and and just trying to take every positive out of every situation. And of course, there's been difficult times. There's been injuries, um, you know, with every team, but um, with our team, you know, we, we've had some knocks and, and we've had players that have to sit out of games and, and whatnot. So I think it, it has been it has been really tough and, and mentally I think our team is in such a good place. And I, mm. I think it says a lot about this group and this group this year. Um, and I'm really proud of them, you know, for that. And again, it, it keeps going and, and hopefully, you know, tomorrow we can, we can push through it. Uh, Lindsay, you probably scored one of the, one of the goals of the tournaments. I think Jordan might have that, that uh, footage for us, but um, I'm curious about your game right now. Mark said after, I think it was that goal in the post game that he thinks you're playing like you were in 2018, maybe better than ever. Um, curious kind of if anything changed for you and maybe this, this pandemic quarantine time that you did or the off season in general <clears throat> that kind of brought you to this, this level. Um, yeah, I think one thing for me is I worked a lot on uh, my mental game. I think the quarantine kind of forced us to do that. Um, but again, it, it was kind of taking the positives out of that situation. And, you know, those two or three months that um, I was in Denver and whatever I could do to, to better myself and better my game and, you know, train individually and, and, and lift individually, I, I kind of got back to my off season groove, which I absolutely love in Denver, as Jordan probably knows. Um, so, you know, I was able to do that, but also work on my mental side of the game, which I don't think I've ever done. Um, so that, that's been huge for me. And again, it's kind of played a big role in this tournament for me and, and just feeling confident and playing freely and, and being happy out on the field again. Um, I think that's kind of been the main thing. Jeff, yeah, and, and, go ahead, Lori. I was just going to add, in terms of on-field, obviously you have a new partnership out there with Rocky Rodriguez. And can you talk a little bit about her and what she's brought to this team? And it, it does give you all a little bit of a different look going forward. Yeah, I think, again, our whole midfield is is awesome right now. Um, it's it's amazing to see someone like come into the team, um, again, in this tournament setting and fit in seamlessly and – and just play the the Thorn style as well, and, and she's so technical and and so tactically sound, and just an intelligent footballer as well. So it's really like awesome for me to you know have another player in that role, and you know, and and as a six and and Sinky, we don't need to talk about her. She's a legend, <laughs> and I love her. Um, I'm still trying to get her to say I love you back, but. Um, <laughs> It's coming, guys. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's it's been a really cool like midfield dynamic. I've been happier than ever, and I think it's also helped me play kind of a higher role in the field and get more into the attack, and um, you know, give me more space, you know, where I actually want the ball. So that's that's nice for me. <laughs> I'm interested about these knockout rounds because you guys knew coming in. Uh, you were going to make it to this round, you know, with Orlando Pride being withdrawing themselves from the tournament. <clears throat> and then you get to the knockout round. Do you think these games are going to look different than the games that we saw in the first round, just with that heightened pressure? Do you feel it already that the game and leading up to the game feels different? Um, me personally, no. Um, you know, I think – Again, it's this tournament setting has been so interesting, and I think we've kind of looked at it, and it's it's another game, and obviously it is a knockout game, and and you know you win or go home. So I think there there might be this added pressure. But I think our team is in such a good place, knowing that you know it's another game, and yeah, it's North Carolina, but these are the games that we absolutely love, and I think the fan loves as well. So I think you know personally, I've been more excited than anything for this game, and and. I've been just really looking forward to it. And I think our team's in a good place. And again, we've been progressing through this whole tournament. So I think we're going to give our absolute best Thorn side tomorrow. Well, Obviously, the rivalry, uh, yeah. we talked about a little bit, which, um, I, how are you all viewing this? I mean, this is a, a common game for you guys at this point. 
Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants the North Carolina Portland game. It's just it somehow <laughs> manages to always happen. Um, yeah. I th- again, like I said, it's it's exciting. Um, you know, we played in the first game of the the tournament. I think that was like an awesome statement for this tournament and and how the game went and the goals that were scored and you know even North Carolina coming back and getting a late goal. Um, super unfortunate for us, but again, it's a it's a huge rivalry and they're such a good team and. Um, it's, it's a battle every single time. Um, so again, we live for these games and, uh, yeah, we're, we're very excited. Linz, we just previewed your eyes' game before you hopped on and we are all a little curious cause we got questions. How are you feeling? How's the team feeling? Are you thinking that you're going to be ready to go tomorrow? We got to ask. Um, did, did Paul Riley ask that question? <laughs> yes, Paul. <laughs> He called us before. Oh, called in. <laughs> um, we're we're hoping for the best tomorrow. I think uh, we obviously need to wait for for game day for any uh, final answers and be hundred percent. But again, very hopeful. But our team is in a good place, so um, we'll be good to go. One of the cool things that happened. So we posted that you were our guest, and we got a lot of questions. So can we throw some rapid fire questions at you? Absolutely. Um, I'm going to take myself out because I think I'm a little choppy and Jeff and Lori are going to take the the reins on this one. All right. Okay. All right. Well, all right. We talked tech ball. So that's, that was a big, big thing, which I think <laughs> anybody doesn't know. It's basically like a ping pong table kind of looking thing, but playing soccer yeah. tennis. Um, we got a lot of coffee questions, which I know I've been told from doing my coffee story that, you're an expert on. Um, we've got go-to order from somebody said Starbucks, but I, I know you probably drink local as well. So what's what's the go-to coffee uh, order? Okay, pretty easy for you guys. Uh, Starbucks <laughs> order, uh, a cold brew with soy milk, um, local coffee, it's a cold brew or nitro cold brew. I really like nitro now with oat milk. Okay, nice. What's nice. the go-to? What's the go-to coffee shop in Portland? Local. Oof. Northwest, because it's very close to where I live. <laughs> um, <laughs> I actually got so much crap from Becky because I would walk down the street to get Starbucks every day when when Northwest was across the street, <laughs> and so I can't do that any longer now that Becky's on my team. <laughs> okay, perfect. I, I am right next to Becky in that. So yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> I figured. Uh, Jeff, you have another or I'll go? Uh, yeah, well, how about, I like this one from Hannah. Um, she's asking advice for a young player who's just trying to earn playing time. What would be general advice for young players? Well, Hannah, um, pretty, pretty obvious statement for me, but to keep working and, and again, I say this all the time, but keep loving the game and uh, the love for the game takes over everything. And I think the, the work follows. So no matter if you're starting or uh, you're not starting, um, keep putting in the work, keep trying to get better in any way possible. Seek advice, um, go train extra, train with boys, train with older players, um, whatever you can do to, um, to make yourself better and, and be patient as well, because your time will come if you put in that hard work. And speaking about like on field stuff, we have a question that's, uh, and I'm asking this because she's a UVA grad as well. Uh, how much do you miss Sonnet? <laughs> and the second part though is who's the funny, who's your funniest teammate? And that could be, we could do two part, Portland and national team. Oh my gosh, it's so tough. Okay, one, yeah, I miss Sonnet so much. Um, <laughs> it's it's not the same, but. Uh, I, I think she FaceTimes me three times a day to check in. Um, <laughs> so she's pretending or, like she's in the bubble with Yeah. Yeah, yeah. got it. I, I literally just got a message from her before this asking me <laughs> details so she feels like she's in the bubble. Um, <laughs> so funniest teammate. So probably on the national team, it's got to be between Pino, Rose, and San. Um, yeah. You, you probably know that best. Um, um, <laughs> the Thornies, um, currently Kelly Hubley, 
she's killing me lately. Like everything <laughs> she's doing and her her dancing. I mean, you could go look on our Thorns Instagram if you really want to. But absolutely killing me. The the real question is: well, that she, does she got... know she's being funny, or <laughs> or is she just like one of those people that like? No. Yeah, exactly. You're just like yeah, over here in exactly. the corner laughing at her. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Exactly. Right. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. Love it. Jor Producer Jordan has thrown up a question that we got a lot on Instagram as well, which is: uh, we need people need dog updates from you. Is is the oh, big question? How's, don't how's do funny? that to me. <laughs> my poor baby i miss him so much i i've had like two facetimes and i started bawling <laughs> i don't know where it came from i was so sad and i'm just like he, he's uh he's staying with a teammate's family back in in portland olivia moultrie so thank goodness uh she came to came through the rescue um but he's doing really well i'm still trying to give instagram updates on him but I, <laughs> you so know much. what's funny it's funny because I told, I promised Lindsay earlier that I wouldn't make her cry on this interview because she's like, you always make me cry. And here we are. I asked the question. She does. <laughs> <She's> like, oh. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, someone wants to know, have you had any avocado toast in the bubble? I mean, they dumb, dumb question. Obviously <laughs> we have our own griddle. I'm, right. I'm making my Bring own, own griddle. griddle. Yeah. Oh, wow. Listen, the Portland situation sounds a lot better than some of the information we're getting from other teams. <laughs> some of the teams are like, <laughs> we can't go on with I this bit. <laughs> I know. I'm here like, I want to stay another month. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's I actually have another question if, if we have time. Yeah, um, let's give one more. And then we'll let Lindsay favorite memories so far in terms of like on field. And that could, again, that could be, you could do separate Portland and national team or whichever one stands out the most. Of on field. Mm. For both national team and Portland. I think um, honestly, the, the clip Jordan just showed of uh, our win against Seattle and the goal I scored um, was the best goal I think I've ever scored. And it's just like, I've talked about this a lot, but like, it's something that I've worked on for so long. It's like my half volleys are my volleys. So it was the best moment <laughs> ever. Um, and it was against Seattle, it was against Black though. I still like give him crap for it. I think I said it to him the other day actually. Um, <laughs> um, he's, got, he's still got a little piece of Seattle in him. Um, and anyways, the Thorns one actually recent, um, uh, great memory is, is the goal uh, I scored against DC, but more so the conversation Kling and I had beforehand. Um, I went up to the free kick spot and I think Mark was flipping out on the sideline thinking I'm gonna take it <laughs> and like losing Not his Mark. mind. But yeah, Mark, yeah, I know, it's crazy. crazy. He would be <laughs> yelling on the sideline, I know. Um, no, he, uh, so he was going ballistic on the sideline. Me and Kling were just like, what do you think here? What What do you want to do? And she's just like, I'm going to play it right in this spot. Just run there. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> run, up, <laughs> run over to the side, run straight where she tells me and it lands right on my head. It was, oh, it was so, it was so great. Yeah. That's awesome. It was yeah. like a golfer in their caddy. Yeah. You guys like had it figured out to a T. Yeah. Kling told me what to do. I listened. That's how our relationship worked. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Lindsay, thank you so much for giving us a little bit of your time. We know you've got a big game to prep for tomorrow. We're hoping um, some good healing in the next 24 hours, less than that, so you can get out there on the pitch. But um, yeah, thank you. So many people are saying thank you in the chat as well. So just appreciate you giving us a little bit of your time. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Go Thorns, right? <laughs> she said it. We're neutral. <laughs> We're neutral, but you said it. We can't stop you from saying it. Um, all right, yeah. Lindsay, good luck. Thanks, Lindsay. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.